All right, wanted to take a minute today to uh, show off the latest tiny house build. Been working on this the last six months and we just completed inspection and certification and still a few little odds and ends but uh, it's basically livable at this point so let's let's go have a look all right moving into the inside of the tiny house this is one of uh, two doors this is a 24 inch door the main door 36 inch door is over there living area we have a couch that will pull out into a bed with tons of cubbies storage. These are actually too deep, so 10 cubbies. We have a uh, 2020 UL listed wood stove, which will definitely heat the place nicely. Or you can uh, put the propane heater on a thermostat and uh, have it be uh, have the house warm when you are out and about for the day. You want to come back to a warm house. Okay, and on either side we have uh, storage with uh, and then some recessed lighting. And uh, these are just a couple steps so I can reach the upper window. And uh, this folds up, pulls away. And you've got your TV trays there, a little extra storage. Okay, over here we've got the uh, bar, breakfast nook, or whatnot. Could be a workstation. And uh, obviously, you can seat two. You can, you can move one around if you like, one bar stool around. And, and have a nice intimate eating area, or you can use the TV trays. And then uh, over here, we have a kind of a galley kitchen. So on both sides, there, one, this side is obviously the sink, on-demand water heater, propane, really efficient. Okay, here we have uh, what I believe is a seven cubic foot fridge, mostly a drink fridge right now plenty of space as, as far as a tiny house fridge goes. Above it there is a convection oven and then we have a two burner propane cooktop and microwave can go underneath. Used all my scrap to make this uh, handy little uh, spice rack. One thing I like about this galley kitchen is you can literally take one step and you're at the sink, at the stove. You don't have to run a marathon just to cook a meal. Really efficient. You chop over here, slice and dice over here, throw it in, do your dishes, done. <laughs> we have a, a full 36 inch door here, which is nice. You can enter from either side or exit. This door has uh, some nice blinds, some privacy blinds. Since the bathroom is right here, kind of nice to close it off. All right, so moving into the bathroom. Nice tiny sink, just, just big enough to uh, brush your teeth, do what you need to do. Uh, we have the water heater on the other side, um, so I actually put the medicine cabinet next to the sink. And then a composting toilet, Ogos, check them out online. They're great, uh, really, really easy to use, and it slides back out of the way when, when not in use. And double doors. All right, I believe it's a 33 inch shower. A little on the tight side, but still plenty of room to do what you need to do. All right, this is looking uh, underneath the bedroom. It's a combination of dog, obviously dog area, with a nice dog door. Gus loves it down here. Uh, it's his little cozy nook. And then we, this is actually where we have some of the utility room as well. And uh, I've designed this so it can be on or off grid. If you're off grid, you'd fill this tank and it would go through the water pump to the pressure tank and then to the water heater. Uh, right now, I'm tied to city water, so I just bypass all of that and just go directly to the water heater from the hose bib. Okay, moving up into the bedroom. Little hatch here, easy access to the storage and uh, the utility room underneath. Five stairs, all have storage. It's lots of lots of storage. And then these are this is on caster, so the whole thing will slide away to give you access to what could be the kids' playroom, the utility room, dog bed, and whatnot. So moving up into the bedroom, 
fairly decent closet as far as tiny houses are concerned. Mini split, which if you're not familiar with the heat pump, it does uh, heat and air conditioning, which that thing just cools the place off really nice or heats it. TV that swivels out, it comes, tucks away when you're not using it. You can lay in bed and watch your favorite uh, chick flick. Full size bed, not too bad of a use. All right, so we've uh, had a look at the inside. Let's take a look, uh, look around the outside. Air intake for the wood stove. The exhaust for the propane heater. We have a nice three foot overhang on this uh, high side on the back end. So eventually there'll probably be a nice, I could envision a nice sitting porch or you know uh, a deck, kind of a wraparound deck back here. Moving around to this side, big picture windows, 20 amp outlets on both sides. Lights, I think I have one, two, three, four, six lights, exterior lights. So a lot of lighting. This is the utility side here. So all the electrical panel, obviously the mini split and the propane how is housed in this little unit right here. And it, it holds two tanks. It's just a simple switch over, just a flip of a switch, switches, switches it over from one tank to the next. So you don't actually physically have to disconnect each tank when you run out. Working around this side. So this is where the water comes in to the house and obviously where the water leaves, the gray water leaves. Basically hook it up just like you would any RV. So the last six months of my life right here, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. So. Be curious to get your reaction. Cheerio.